Hi everyone, welcome back. In this section of the lectures, we will take a look into time leap standard expressions. Well, there are five types of time leap standard expressions, variable expressions, selection expressions, message expressions, link expressions and fragment expressions. Well, we will take a look into each of these time leap standard expressions with lots of examples. In this lecture, I am going to cover variable expressions with an example. Let's take a look into variable expressions. Well, variable expressions are the most commonly used ones in a time leap templates and the variable expressions will help to bind the data from template context into resulting HTML view. Well, basically we use variable expressions in a time leap template to access the model data which is present in a template context. Well, we will see how we can, you know, bind the data from the model using variable expressions in an example section. And here you can see this is the syntax for variable expressions like dollar within a curly braces we pass the variable name okay now let's understand how to use variable expressions with an example consider we have added a data to the model in a spring muc controller and in order to access this model data in a time leap template we can use time leap variable expressions well consider we have spring muc controller that is message controller it has a message handler method it returns a model and view and if you can notice here the model has add attribute method and it takes two parameters first parameter is attribute name second parameter is attribute value and we basically store the data in a model by using add attribute method and we pass a attribute name and attribute value all right and this handler method returns a message time leap template view name and if you can see here this is basically a time leap html template and in order to access the model data we are using variable expression over here and if you can notice the syntax for variable expression that is dollar within a curly braces we are passing the message and this message is coming from message controller if you can notice here this add attribute method has two parameters attribute name and attribute value attribute name is message attribute value is a hello world in order to access this attribute value we have to use attribute name that is what we are doing over here we are using variable expression and we are just passing this attribute name in order to access this attribute value okay all right so this is how we use a variable expression to access the model data from the spring muc controller well let's take a look into one more example over here here we have student model class and here we have a handler method it returns the model and view and the model contains a list of students and here we have a time leap html template view and if you can notice here in a time leap html template view we are using variable expression to access a students variable and this students is coming from this handler method if you can notice here this model has add attribute method and add attribute method takes two parameters students as attribute name and students as attribute value and attribute value is basically a list of students isn't it and in order to access list of students we are using attribute name here all right and after that here you can see we are using student dot first name student dot last name student dot email so these are basically a model attribute for example student is a model class it has first name last name email and in order to access the model attribute also we are using a variable expression now let's go and let's see how to use a variable expressions in an action so let me go to IntelliJ ID and let me demonstrate how to use variable expressions in an action so let me go ahead and let me first create one model class so here I will create a new package and let's call it as model and within a model package let me create one class and let me call it as user and let me define the instance variables within this class for example private string name and then private string user email and then private string role user role and then private string gender perfect now let's go and let's create a constructor for this class just right click generate and then constructor and then choose all the fields and click on ok and also create a getter setter methods right click generate and choose getter setter and choose all the fields over here and click on ok now we have created simple user model class next let's create a handler method so go to controller package right click and then java class and let's give class name as user controller perfect so let's go and let's annotate this user controller class with add controller annotation to make this class as a spring muc controller and within this spring muc controller we can define the handler methods so let me write the handler method to handle variable expression request 
perfect so here just type public and then return type of the method is string and let's give method name as variable expression something like that and then let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to handle http get request with the url let's give url as a variable expression something like that okay we are going to demonstrate the usage of variable expression hence we are creating a handler method with the url variable hyphen expression okay next let's pass a model as a parameter to this method and make sure that you choose model from org.springframework.ui package next let's go ahead and let's add a data to the model well we are going to add a user model object for that let's create a user object first user user equal to new user and then let's pass the value to the constructor name as a ramesh and then email as ramesh at the rate gmail.com and let's give role as admin and then let's give gender as a male perfect now we have created user model object next let's add this object to the model so let's call model dot it has add attribute method and then let's pass first parameter as user second parameter as actual user object perfect next let's return the view let's give view name as variable expression next we will create a variable expression thumblip template and we will access this model data in a thumblip template so go to templates folder and within a templates folder let's create a html file and let's name it as variable hyphen expression perfect within this variable expression thumblip template we are going to access the model data using variable expression so let's give title as variable expressions next let's give a thumblip xml namespace so here let's go to html element and let's define the xml namespace for thumblip just type xml namespace colon th and then http and then www.thymlib.org now we have defined xml namespace for thymlib at the beginning of this html page next we can use the thymlib syntax next go to body within a body let's have a h1 element and let's give some text something like variable expression demo so this is going to be a page heading next let's use one more header element that is h2 element and here let me pass a text as a user details so here basically we are going to print the user model object data next let's create div and within a div let's have a paragraph element and let's print username first and let's use strong html element to make username in a bold all right and here within a strong html element let's use th colon text thumbly attribute and then let's use a variable expression that is dollar within a curly braces user dot name well here user dot name is basically coming from the user controller well if you go to user controller within user controller we have variable expression handler method it has a model and we have added user uh, user as attribute name and actual user object as attribute value to the model right and in order to access the actual user model object we have to use this attribute name that is user and in order to access the user model object attributes that is you know name email role gender we have to use a syntax like this okay dollar within a curly braces then the attribute name that is user dot and then field name that is user similarly let's print user email so here let's have paragraph element and then email and then let's have strong html element and then within a strong html element let's have a family attribute that is th colon text and then let's have a variable expression dollar within curly braces just pass user dot email okay next let's print gender and role for that let's have a paragraph element and let's say role and then strong html element and then let's use family attribute th colon text and then let's use variable expression dollar within curly braces user dot role similarly let's print gender as well gender 
and then strong HTML element and then th colon text family attribute and then dollar within curly braces user dot gender perfect now we have printed all the user details like name email role and gender okay now let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot application and let's see how this works so let me start the spring boot application well our spring boot application is up and running let's go to browser and here in a new tab just type localhost colon 8080 slash the url we have given in a handler method so let me show you go to user controller here we have given this url right so let me copy this url and paste it over here and just hit enter well we got a 500 internal server error so let me quickly see what is the issue so go to console and here you can able to see error resolving template it says template might not exist so let me check well if you can notice here handler method returns the view name that is variable hyphen expression but we have given the timely template name as a viable hyphen expression so make sure that you have to give a same name okay so here let me refactor and let me rename as a variable hyphen expression okay so whatever the view name the handler method returns that view name should be same as the timely template that we create under templates folder okay now let me rerun spring boot application and let's see how it works now so go to browser and just refresh and there we go you can able to see the user details successfully printed like username user email role and gender it means that we have successfully used a variable expression to print username email role and gender i hope you understood how to use a variable expressions in a timelip templates in next lecture we'll take a look into timelip selection expressions all right great i will see you in the next lecture